On April the 9th, 2015, during our visit to Zacatecas, Mexico, we toured both the Pedro Coronel Museum and the Rafael Coronel Museum. These brothers came from a very wealthy f family, and the family was interested in music and the arts. As a child, Pedro was a very rebellious and restless child. He was not interested in school and would often play hooky from school and go out to watch the stonemasons carve stone from the mountains. At an early age, he started collecting tops, marbles, and puppets. This developed into a lifelong hobby, and he developed, uh, he, he uh, collected such objects from all over the world. As a young man, he studied to become a sculptor, and he was also interested in painting. He became one of Mexico's most famous sculptor and painter. He traveled all over the world and began to become very recognized wherever he went. In 1946, he traveled to Paris, and he liked Paris so much that he adopted Paris as his second home and worked there for much of each year. And then he would come back to Mexico some each year also. Shortly before his death in 1985, he donated his sizable art collection and life works to the people of Mexico. This large collection of art is housed in the old Jesuit college in Zacatecas, Mexico. We toured this old college and grounds, and a lot of the grounds are in ruin, but uh, the building where the uh, art collection is housed is still in good repair. Uh, the flowers, the landscaping, the buildings, although many are in a poor state of repair, are quite beautiful. After we toured his museum, we went to the nearby Raphael Coronel Museum. And Raphael was also a renowned Mexican painter. And his museum contains a lot of artwork, a lot of puppets, a lot of uh, masks. There are over 5,000, a collection of over 5,000 masks, which he collected from all over the world in this museum. And many of the masks were made by the peoples of Mexico and are of a, supernat a supernatural nature. They are quite colorful. Uh, Raphael's mass museum is uh, located in an old convent uh, which dates to the 16th century. I was impressed by the pink tint of the stone used in building these buildings. It's quite beautiful. It's almost like looking at the old ruins from Pompeii or somewhere. Well, 
Those puppets look almost real. The flying buttresses of the buildings to support the walls. the old medieval architecture and the old cleric statues Smile. Diana. One of my favorite views right there. That church right there, the uh, ceiling collapsed in it over a hundred years ago. And the guide told us that they're planning to restore that ceiling and that will be a beautiful church someday. Hopefully to restore it next year, he said. 